You know, we find ourselves in a world that is full of so much negativity and we find ourselves whenever we get on the internet or we're reading magazines or newspaper articles, it seems like there's so much that is unpure that it enters into us and it changes really our makeup, our attitude. The Apostle Paul knew that even 2,000 years ago when he wrote in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 the following. Finally, brothers, whatever's true, whatever's honorable, whatever's just, whatever's pure, whatever's lovely, whatever's commendable, if there is any moral excellence, if there is any praise, dwell on these things. So I encourage you to dwell on what is pure, dwell on what is holy, dwell on what will build up the body of Christ, dwell on what will help you in the days to come, instead of turning to the vices of the world, instead of turning to really what the world is doing is offering you something that is going to do nothing but tear you apart emotionally, physically, spiritually, and at the end of the day, the only thing that sin will do is bring death into your life. And so if there is anything pure, dwell on that. Is there, if there's anything holy, dwell on that. If there's anything that's lovely, dwell on that. Dwell on Jesus Christ and his promises. Your day will be so much better if you will simply take the promise of Philippians 4.8 and remember it as you get up in the morning and as you lay down at night. God bless you and may your life be better because you know that this side of eternity is the closest you will ever come to hell if you're a Christian. But sadly, my friends, if you're not a believer in Jesus Christ, this side of eternity is the closest you'll ever come to heaven. God bless you and thank you for watching Transforming Lives.